Hey there YouTube, what's up? It's Sun here, and so today I'm just going to be doing a quick video on how to import a Cinema 4D scene into Unity and then kind of walk around inside the scene. So right off the bat, what you're going to need is you're going to need the Field Creator Studios. So if you just look up Field Creator Studios on Google and then go to Shop, and then you're just going to need Select and Go. And then it'll take you to a mega site, and then you just download it. And it shouldn't take too long. There we go, perfect. So now all you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to open up a Cinema 4D. There we go. And go to Edit, Preferences, and open the Preferences folder. So now you can close out Cinema 4D again because you need it closed for the time being. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into, you're gonna open up the zip folder and it's going to give you a readme, but all you're just going to do is go into plugins and drop the folder inside the plugins folder in here, just like that. Okay, close all these down. Now when you open back up Cinema 4D, eventually, there we go. You'll see there's now a tab at the top called FCS. So now if I open up my test file, so here it is, nothing too intense, but I just have one object that I have just the materials on. And so keep in mind that none of the reflectance parameters will carry across, so none of your specularity or anything like that will carry across, uh, nor will transparency, fog, bomb, or fog won't, and I think that's everything. Yeah. I think basically you just need, just make it one solid color and then change the color, change the actual material inside the Unity itself, not Cinema 40. So uh, what you're gonna do is just highlight the, highlight the object, go to FCS, select and go. And for me, I always do, 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 do I think I'm blind. There it is, wavefront, so the .obj files. I have to pick a path, so I'm just going to pick my desktop and export. There's a couple of options in here as well, so you can do export a single object or a folder. So, there we go. So now we have the MTL and the object file. So now let's go into uh, Unity. Probably actually did that. Wait for it to open up. I can close this actually. Oh, there we go. And go new. And we're just gonna call this one C4D walk around testing file. Uh, and hit create project. Now we just gotta wait for Unity to start up here. Do, 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 do. And there we go. So I'm just going to keep the inspector open for the meantime. Uh, so all you're going to do is just drag these two into the assets file down here. And you do need them both, by the way. The MTL is actually going to be your uh, colors, all of your uh, texture. That's in the MTL file. And the actual geometry itself is in the OBJ. Actually, if I open this up inside Paint 3D, uh, you can see that. Skip. That's just the file, basically minus the blue line I just drew on it. So there you go. Don't save. Okay. So first thing to do before you bring it in is go actually click on the cube with the inspector open. And then in the import here, if you're doing, so as you saw inside Cinema 4D here, I'm doing a low poly style. So there's no fong shading enabled currently on, uh, on the object, which if you import it, there will be. So it'll look weird here. I'll just actually drag it in. It's going to be huge because I made this a huge mountain. It looks really weird. Uh, so the way that you fix that is you actually click on the cube object itself, and then you hit calculate normals, and then turn down this fog angle. And then hit apply, and there we go. Beautiful. All sorted. Uh, and then from there, you're going to want to do the material naming by model name plus model material. And then... Uh, there's one more thing that I'm forgetting. 
and it's currently escaping me. Generate colliders as well. You want to want to check that out. Um, and then anything else? No, I think that should be everything. I'm just gonna check this on as well, just because I don't really know exactly what it does, but couldn't hurt to have it on. Um, so now while that's just calculating all of that, there we go. Beautiful. Now to get yourself set up quickly, I'm just gonna import the characters package. So import package, and that's just by right clicking inside the assets folder. Import package characters, and I'm just gonna import all of them because I can't be bothered. I'm gonna delete this file anyways afterwards, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and just waiting, 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 waiting. There we go. Okay. Now you go into the standard assets folder in there, and you're gonna go characters, first person, prefabs, and I'm just gonna use the FPS controller. So our FPS controller currently is stuck underground, so I'm gonna pull it out. And if I actually just move across here and take a look, that's our character. Now this mountain is absolutely huge, so I apologize for that as well. This is gonna make this a little bit more weird, but um, one thing that I have found is that the camera that's used for this by default, if you click on the first person character, the camera that's used by default is using a 60 FOV, which is kind of a bit strong. I normally turn this down to 30 just so it looks a bit more realistic, uh, just so you have proper depth. And that should be everything. So let's just quickly give this a test. Hit play. And this is gonna lie because I'm also recording at the same time, but there you go. You now have a scene that you can walk around. Now this is a huge scene, so as you can see by just the scale of the wall there. But uh, yeah, also I'm trying to climb directly up something vertical, but there you go. You now have a file you can play around with and run around inside and yeah. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, then be sure to uh, comment below any questions or anything that you have about this. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next video.